Hey YouTube, this is Toxic, and I wanted to talk to you guys about Raptor. Um, if you want to know about my personal opinions and review of the Raptor website and uh, chat client, I actually have another video uh, apart from this one, and it's on the link below. Um, this particular video is actually going over the error message that a lot of people are getting from an invalid Steam ID or the privacy controls being enabled on your Steam account. So if you have been um, experiencing these problems, I'm going to show you how to fix them right here and right now. Uh, the first one being the, the invalid Steam ID it's important to realize that if you have a Steam account, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have a Steam Community ID. These are two different ID tags, as observed in the Steam client. If you go in here, um, basically in the store, uh, yeah, so this is the Steam client. I don't have too many games, but whatever. In the top right-hand corner, that is your account name, but not your community Steam ID. If this is your first time um, clicking the community button, basically there will be another button or link that says uh, click now or set up my community ID. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, but this is basically their social networking um, scheme or page within the Steam client. Which is, like I said, completely different from your username. You cannot use your use your Steam account username to uh, collect gaming data um, because your account username doesn't have a URL, and that's what Raptor's uh, tracking um, for your game achievements and uh, activity. So. Easy fix if you get the sorry invalid uh, Steam ID. All you have to do is run the Steam client, log in, and then press the community button. If it's the first time, like I said again, you will have a button that says to set up your community Steam account. Alright, and then the second fix is this privacy setting. Um, Steam is notorious for <laughs> their very good security apparently so uh we're gonna go here back into the steam client again instead of view my profile you're gonna go to edit my profile edit my profile go to settings and in settings as your profile status you're going to make that public making this public basically um allows uh the entire world <laughs> to see your um, community account and your community account like I said it's pretty harmless it's like a Facebook but strictly for games and it's really cool anyway uh, because Raptor tracks by URL if you do not have this public it's almost like Facebook settings. If you tell some, if you tell Facebook to block your name from a Google search, or to be searched by anyone who's not going to your school, they're not going to find you. And in order for Raptor to track you, you have to make your information public, and that's what that is. After you make it public, you hit save. Mine's already saved. Voila, and you should be able to track yourself on the Raptor website. This is all I have for you today. Um, I've been enjoying Raptor so far, and I hope to make more videos soon. Please check out my review, um, and I hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Have